Hello again, um, so this is video two. I'm hopefully going to fit both these books in um, one video, but we'll uh, see how we go. So this is the next one. Again, like I said before, it's a four by six. Um, and again, big, a wee bit chunky. Um, so I've, on the cover of this one, I've used this lovely piece of lace um, and backed it with fabric and again just did the slow stitch through it. This is one of the little um, ring tabs from A Tattered Dream and this is a ceramic button and it was lovely. It matched the blue in the cover of this fabric perfectly so I've used it in this. Um, I'm nearly done with this. I've used this in our last couple of journals, this lovely scarf I had. I think it was my mum's originally and um, I'm nearly finished it, but it's just so lovely. It's a, a lovely chiffon and it's got lovely colours through it. And there's a very slight sparkle to it, which you won't probably see on. But all the beads I keep using on the end of things all came off this scarf as well. So I'll be gutted when it runs out altogether. So here we go. This is this one. So I've got a wee Tim Holtz pin at the top here with some dangles off of it. This is a lovely fabric. It had this bird on it. So... I've sort of used the bird as a focal point, even though I've put a lovely little uh, Mrs. Cog's image in a frame. I think they work lovely together. And it's got this lovely um, colours on it as well. It's sort of big diamonds um, along it. And uh, each diamond's a different fabric. So I'm hoping to use this. I've got enough to do a bigger book on using it as well. So we've got some dangles off of here as well. Um, so let's check them in frame. So what I've done with this one, there's no pocket on the inside of this one because I used a fabric. Um, I, I stitched my signatures into the fabric and then glued the fabric into the book cover. So I, um, I didn't want to put pockets in because as you can see, it's, it's chunky enough without adding pockets here as well. So there's quite a lot of dangles. Again, they're all sort of green to tie in with the front cover. I've used quite a, um, a lot of the Artie Mays kit that I spoke about in my last video. There's quite a lot of that through here as well, but I've also used a Tracy Fox kit um, in this one as well. So this is from the ephem Artie Mays ephemera kit. Uh, but this is, this um, background tags and papers are from a Tracy Fox kit and I've used quite a lot of her stickers as well in this one. So, um, which I love the colours and they, they match perfectly with the front cover. Um, so there's lots of pins with dangles and all the paper clips again have something dangling off of them. But it's the same type of papers that I used in the last one. And what I did um, for the pockets in this one is I've used the Tim Holtz dies, but I've used the negative part as well to make the pockets. And I've used a Mrs. Cog's kit in this one as well. The little fairy ones. Uh, this is an original, again, one of these uh, check, it, um, check stubs. From This is from 1909. But I've put the, the Tracy Fox papers behind the negative one to keep the colours together, but they just match this fabric so well. Um, and this is, I'm pretty sure this is from the Tracy, but this was a lovely freebie that Tracy put on her Facebook group. And um, so I've used that throughout this as well. And this is an original bus ticket as well. This is from the Tracy Fox um, page as well. So you can see like the, there's a knot on, on this little bit of fabric. If you take these kinds of, if you don't want it quite so bulky, whoever gets this one, you can take these knots and like put them further up. They're not going to make the book quite so bulky this side because the ephemera and the beads and things add to the bulk. But once you take all the ephemera out, it's not quite so bad. But I don't mind it, but I know some people don't like the alligator mouth type thing. Um, and one of these days, like I say, I'll get it right. I've done quite a lot of decoupage napkin in this book as well. And then lots of little paper collages. I've started out thinking I'll do paper collages this time so it won't be so bulky but I just start adding fabric and I just don't know when to stop. So here we go. Um, so we've got some beads and another tag here. And I've used the music paper on the back of the tags as well. 
These are the pockets that just come with the kit. So again, small book, but lots of journaling space. And um, this is a decoupage napkin as well. And these are all from the Mrs. Coggs kit. So there's plenty of pages and I've put quite a lot of journaling cards in as well. So there's, there is lots of room to journal. And I can see dangles from these are lovely. They're sort of almost like a rusted look to the charms. I've got another little envelope from, from a tattered dream as well with one of the little cards from Tracy's kit in there. And this is just a little collage. So is this one. And this is from the Artie Mays ephemera kit as well. Um, and so is this one. This is one of those envelopes, again, from the kit. And what I've done is I've just folded it up over the bottom of the, the page to make a pocket on this side. And these are from the ephemera kit. And then, so there's a pocket on this side as well. Tracy's kit she gives you these tiny tiny little tags which are just so cute so I've just tied them all together it's something I saw on um, an Angie uh, uh, Brunner book that uh, Denise on a tattered dream um, the video she does for her books she does this with a little chain and a little tie on it and I just think it's so cute so we've got another negative and the die here a journaling card in there and another tag here so again two signatures in this book We've got another tag here and these are mostly vintage laces I think this is maybe a wee bit more modern and it's all um, a mother of pearl buttons in this one as well some original ledger. I love this image. I've just sort of left it as a bookmark. I think it's so pretty. And this is napkin here as well. And another pocket here. Um, this is um, the ephemera page from the Artie Mays kit and what I've done this time is I've printed it onto vellum and it makes a really nice page. This is a lovely image I got from, it's out of an old book. I've just put, because it was um, blank on the back, I thought it would be perfect for journaling on, but it's a really lovely image. So I've just popped that in. And there's another one as well from the same book, which I just thought was lovely. I'll put a wee paper clip on there. pocket here and this is a original vintage piece from 1909. I've done a wee envelope here with a wee card. And that's a tip from a piece from the ephemera kit. Again, just a plain um, back cover on this one and we've got a lovely it's a lovely glass bead I've put on the back here as well so that's that one and oh, we have for time should be okay this is a a little uh, it's much pinker um, this one this is a lovely bit of embroidery I had on a pillowcase and uh, I've just added some beads 
these are plastic, but uh, they're really pretty. And this is a, a vintage uh, mother of pearl button on here. And we've got pearls on the end of this one. So again, this cover comes off. I, uh, I was putting this together for the video and decided that the cover needed a wee bit something else. So I'm going to put that doily in it, but it's pinned because I haven't actually stitched it on yet. But I just thought it needed to be something round the spine. So that's why there's pins in that. So this one is uh, very pretty, um, I would call this. I, uh, I've i been watching Jackie Chimes' books and she's been using a lot of flower fairies and they're just beautiful. I'm loving her range of uh, traveler's notebooks she's doing at the moment. And uh, I, uh, I've had, I've got loads of these flower fairy books that I, I've been just loath to cut up because I, uh, I just love them. But I decided, right, no, that's what I bought them for, so I'm going to go for it. So I've used flower fairies throughout this book. I got this lovely fabric, um, with the blossoms on it. So I tried to pick blossom, based flower fairies for it. So. And I got this lovely tulle, which is so soft. It's bridal tulle, so it's really, really soft. And it just works lovely with the fairy theme. So these are two. Um, these aren't mother of pearl, but they are vintage buttons. And the little Tim Holtz roses. And uh, this is, so we'll get started on this one. So throughout this one, I've used lots of little silver flowers and little bits. This is actually, you can't probably see it very well, but it's a little leaf. And that's the kind, and I've used all these little flowers on the pins for this one, on the safety pins for this one. And again, I've used more of the Artie May's ephemera kit in this one as well, but it's mixed with the flower fairies. And also um, the Paper Garden um, did a freebie on their website for, um, for Valentine's Day, and I've used the papers from that um, in here as well because the soft pinks and things which just went perfect and again I've used more of the Mrs Cog's fairy um, ephemera as well in here and I used decoupage and it's a lot it's very pink this book I would say but I uh, I just love the, the fairies uh, finally getting around to using them We've got some, this is the vintage uh, checkbook stub, uh, stubs again. And another one there. And there's a few Tim Holtz papers in here as well. And lots of little bits. I've used these little tags from, I think it's a Stampedia kit, but the colours were just perfect. And another one of those bus tickets in here. And again, there's lots of journaling space in this one too. So what I've done is I've just fussy cut the fairies out of, it's quite a big book I've got. So I fussy cut the fairies out and I've just collaged them in. But I've put lots of journaling cards in here as well. And the wee, so it's like a wee tulip. They're really nice little beads. And again, that's the ephemera kit on vellum. So I've used every page in my book has got one of these um, in the corner so I'm just gonna I just fussy cut a few of them out and added them in and there's a wee collage here and I've done these sparkly buttons on these ones and another wee flower on here This is uh, from the Tracy Fox freebie she put on her Facebook group. And I put that in that way so then you can see them through the envelope. This one's not as decorated as the other two. It's, it's mainly using more paper decoration. Um, just a wee tag um, which, on the Tracy Fox Facebook group she put two freebies on and it was for little little um, cards like that like a whole sheet 
and then a whole sheet of um of a background page and what I did is I basically just glued the two together. I know you could print them both um like on the back to back but I wanted the thickness of it so um it worked out quite nice. These are from the Artie Maze kit. paper garden freebie and I've got this lovely handmade pink paper which worked perfectly in here as well. a page from the book and which I love the the blossom I thought suited the fabric I've used on the front, front perfectly and again we've got a flower and a big leaf here at the back and again there's no pockets on the inside of this one and that's the back go. Um, all three of these books will uh, be up in my shop later. I think um, these two probably have homes uh, but the ladies were waiting for the video so they might be reserved in my shop but keep an eye, an eye out because they might not be um, but this one hasn't got a home yet if anyone's interested so like I say they'll be in my Etsy shop this evening at some point. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Thank you.